Welcome back to another crypto video. Happy Saturday, folks. I hope you're doing great. Today, we're going to check out Harmony One, one of our favorite layer one infrastructure projects. And I hope you stick around to the end of the video because I think we've got some really exciting things to talk about, as well as a few key bits of data to help support what's going on with the total value locked as well of Harmony One at the moment. So do stick around. As we can see right here, a lot of the market is popping green. These bubbles look amazing. As we can see, the ape suckers are down 35%. Unlucky, guys. Ave is up 32% because of the V3 launch. Looks amazing. We've also got Phantom because of the new protocol upgrades. Also kicking off really nice. 50% on Rune. So lots of infrastructure doing very good. Avalanche, Graph, the data, Chainlink, Maker, all looking very nice. So maybe this does actually look like we've written in a bottom in the market and potentially we're getting that bounce to the upside right now. So hopefully that is exactly what's happening. As we can see, the Crypto Fear and Greed Index is only 28 at the moment. Extreme fear yesterday and we're losing some of that fear people are getting more hopeful the euphoria is coming back maybe the greed is going to enter the market again soon so here's harmony's total value locked a lot of it you know 425 million is still from DeFi kingdoms and you know the actual utility token there is jewel and we still have a lot of total value locked in other automated market makers such as sushi swap as well which is a really cool decentralized exchange and as you can see we've come from around 1.97 billion to 1.1 billion. So we have lost a bit and it's looking like a much more fair value total locked in price. So really it's interesting to see. So how many one is trading at 0 0.135 dollars at the moment? It looks relatively cheap compared to the prices we've had recently. And you can see we rank 73 with a 1.6 billion dollar market cap so very exciting to see if we look at the one year time frame we're down from the auto home of all time high of 0 0.35 oh yeah and also 0 0.34 that was the big resistance area and we did lose a big key support at 0 0.175 on that double top position right there so on the seven days we're up 10 percent on the 24 hours we're also up seven percent as well how exciting make sure as well if you're new here guys smash that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment down below i very much also welcome you to join the discord channel we've got like 150 people in here or so right now and yeah i'm sure they're looking forward to you to say hi also here we go with one so this is one at the moment you can see massive double top position right here. We lost that support on the 20th of February, and then we bounced down to this key support support level at 0.12, rising wedge into another bounce off the 0.11 support. So we didn't come down to 0.1 or even um, 0.105, and that's very important. The 0.13 still stands as a level of resistance, however, and you can see here as well the 0.19, the 0.21, and also the 0.23 are also key areas of resistance. So we've fallen out of this rising wedge, which is typically gonna happen. And we're still under that 20 day moving average, which is a green indicator right here. Now, I personally think if we get a reversal, we'll be reversing to this white line. This white line right here, because I think that's just a pragmatic way to look at it. Because only until we come through this resistance where we've got these swing highs here, here, also here, that's when we're potentially gonna put through like an uptrend and really break through some key areas of resistance. On the four hour time frame, as you can see, bouncing off of this key level of support once again at $0.12, uh, it does look like we're finally putting through some higher highs. As you can see, the trend is now showing a bit of strength to the upside, but um, we still got this resistance along here. So it's almost like an ascending triangle really for Harmony One at the moment. Maybe we can break out to the upside, revisit a, a nearer kind of resistance level. Maybe the target for this one could be around about this 0.14 level if we break to the upside of this ascending triangle. If we come back down and lose the support here on our ascending triangle, we will come back down to potentially the 0.12 level for that support for Harmony. Now, if we can put through a higher high and come to this 0.14 level, maybe we can, you know, use this as support. You know, maybe what could happen, a nice trajectory break to the upside. We retest this resistance. We break through, break through, break through, break through, nice breakout. And then we try and break through here 
where it's going to take us to either 0.16 or we come back down to 0.14 to retest. So I think it's very important that we do break to the upside of this ascending triangle. And that's what I'm seeing here. We are above that 20 day moving average, not seeing any bearish divergence here on the relative strength index. The MACD is also looking relatively good as well. If we go to the 30 minute time frame just to get more noise, we can see exactly what's happening. You see all this support, got lots of resistance here support here resistance here and it looks like we're just consolidating here maybe going to get that breakout to the upside breaking through 0.135 dollars guys that's what's going to be amazing so if we flip all the way back to our weekly time frame now we've got potentially the bottom the market bottom we can put in new price predictions with our fibonacci extension tool we take that down to here and these are the price targets 0 0.55 dollars 0.55 big price target as you see 0.54 right there also we've got 0.49 another key price target so that's really kind of what's going on at the moment for harmony one i think potentially an undervaluation phase once again because if we look at what's happened in the market if we go from all the way back over here bring that down we're just below the 0.618 Fibonacci right here, as you can see under the orange line between the 0.786. So it looks like this could be a good undervaluation reaccumulation phase in a bull market for you Harmonian lovers. Um, so that's about wrap. I think in the short term, we need to break through this white line of resistance, which means coming through the 0 0.15 dollar. And in the long term, 0 0.5 dollars easily gonna happen by 2025 or something like that. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you smash that thumbs up, leave a subscribe for me, come say hello in Discord channel. That'd be nice to see you there. And if you wanna become a patron, I mean, huge thanks to the patrons. Really, really nice of you to see the support. Um, you guys are amazing. That's literally price for coffee. You're gonna get a lot of nice exclusive benefits. Just before I go guys, make sure you get yourself in this ever-growing Telegram channel. As you can see right here, they've had some fantastic trades recently and my fund portfolio has also enjoyed actually taking a bit of profit from these trading signals. So get into that Telegram channel whilst it's still booming and active. Lots of people are making successful trades in here. You can find that Telegram down in the description. So make sure you do enter the Telegram for me and say hello in that group. Speak to the guy called Sat. He's a really nice, genuine person. Really, really good algorithms to trade and maximize your trading potential. So see you soon, guys. Thanks for sticking around.